Is your dentist secretly ripping you off? Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about six different warning signs, red flags, to help you find out whether or not you need to change dental offices. And keep in mind, nobody is perfect. We all know that. This video is not focusing on perfection, it's focusing on the standard of care, which includes guidelines regarding ethics, infection control, and other standards that are involved in your dental treatment. So without further ado, here are the six dental office red flags. Red flag number one, there's no dental hygienist. If your office doesn't have a dental hygienist, that could be a big red flag. As a dental hygienist myself, this may sound biased, but here's the thing. If the dentist doesn't have dental hygienists, ask why. It is quite possible that the dentist is new and still growing their patient practice, so they are performing teeth cleanings themselves. That's fine. In that case, that's fine. Just more often than not, it's a red flag if the dentist is doing all of the teeth cleanings themselves, which brings me to my next red flag. Number two, no perio charting. Confirm the dental hygienists are perio charting routinely, checking your gums routinely. So again, if it is your dentist doing the cleanings and they are giving you quality cleanings, including perio charting, then you're good. Maybe your dentist just truly loves to clean teeth. Always a possibility. But whether or not it's the dentist or the dental hygienist, confirm that perio charting is being done on your gums. Not checking for a gum disease is a huge red flag. Cavities are not the only thing we're looking for in your mouth. Your gums hold in your teeth. Your gums are very important. Something to note, however, sometimes we don't always call the numbers out loud, so if you're curious and whether or not they're checking your gums, just ask. Maybe they are and you didn't know because they're doing it silently. My point is, if you are in and out in 10 minutes with a quick surface cleaning every time with no explanation about the health of your gums, you might not be getting quality care, which brings me to red flag number three. Fast appointments. Like I just said about being in and out of your appointment within 10 minutes, if you are looking for a new dentist right now, it can't hurt to ask how long a typical cleaning appointment is at their office. We schedule appointments based on time, so they should easily be able to give you how long the appointment is. If your cleaning is less than 15 minutes, even if you have the cleanest teeth ever, I don't know about that. I, I don't think anyone can perform a thorough, proper adult cleaning appointment with scaling every single tooth surface and polishing every single tooth surface in the mouth in under 15 minutes. In addition to perio charting and x-rays and an oral cancer screening and all the things that are included in a dental exam and a dental cleaning appointment. Again, there's always exceptions, right? Like kids, for example, are usually faster appointments because they have less teeth, you know, smaller mouth. So use your best judgment to evaluate this, but again, just make sure you are getting a thorough cleaning and exam. Don't settle for anything less. Red flag number four, x-ray frequencies. Find out how often your dental office takes x-rays. The answer should not be, uh, whatever your insurance covers. The answer should not be that. It should be something that has some type of reasoning behind it. Most healthy mouths need checkup x-rays maybe once a year and routine full series x-rays every three to five years depending on the individual's cavity risk, if you're cavity prone or not, and or periodontal status, whether or not you have gum disease. Again, this can vary significantly depending on the health of your mouth, what you have going on, if they are watching any teeth for decay. But the point of this one is, if your dentist has no rhyme or reason to when or why they take x-rays, it could be a red flag. Again, having said that, please use your best judgment again because oftentimes they might bring up your insurance and conversation to confirm the x-rays that you need will be covered or not. Like as a complimentary service, some offices will check to see what your insurance covers. That doesn't mean they are only taking them because they are covered. It probably means they just want you to be aware of your financial responsibility. There's definitely a difference between just taking them to take them and checking in advance to see if they're covered. Now, everything I've said so far has focused on the ethical and moral standards, making sure you're getting quality care and not getting, for the lack of a better word, screwed over. But now I wanna talk about infection control. Infection control should be number one above anything else. So although this is red flag number five, it really should be your number one concern. A dirty office is something that is unacceptable. If you want to overlook the lack of perio charting, the lack of proper care, the not cool financial games, you do you. But something that no one should ever accept is below average safety and health standards. Below average infection control is not okay. You wanna make sure that your dental office is clean and that the dental providers are wearing proper protective equipment such as gloves and masks. I would assume if the dentist went in your mouth without gloves, you would absolutely notice. Can you open for me? Oh. However, a lot of infection control also happens behind the scenes in the sterilization area. So if you currently like your office, they are competent and clean, I wouldn't worry about this. This is more for if you're looking for a new office and if the office seems shady. If it's shady or sketchy, then leave. If the office seems friendly, but their instruments are not being cleaned, leave. Maybe they dropped a scaler and then picked it up right from the floor and put it in your mouth. If that happens, or if you have a hunch that that's happening, run. Basic infection control is of utmost importance when it comes to your health. It's important to feel safe and trust to a 
is taking care of you. So always trust your instincts. If you feel concerned that the instruments they are using are not clean, well, I would probably listen to my instincts and leave right away. But if you are simply curious, you can always ask for a tour of the sterilization area. It's super easy for a staff member to quickly do a tour for you, showing you the sterilization process for dental instruments. If they say no, we can't show you that area. I don't know, I would definitely be like, okay, bye. And lastly, red flag number six, bad communication. Why waste your time going somewhere where you are never told what's going on with your teeth? I get that some people have dental anxiety and don't wanna know what's going on in their mouth. I do have a dental anxiety video, which I will link in the description box that goes over different strategies to receive your dental information in a comfortable way. But all anxiety aside, my advice is to find an office where they properly inform you about what should be done and what can be done on your teeth. You don't want an office where they never tell you anything about your mouth. You're just in and out. How's your kids? How's your job? Peace out. <laughs> if the hygienist never once has mentioned whether or not your gums look healthy and the dentist has never ever commented anything about your x-rays, even if it's as simple as your gums look good and healthy, keep up the good work, or no cavities, I don't know, no cavities on your x-ray today, that's something. That's fine. I've had friends and family that have told me that their dental office has never said one thing about their teeth. They just go in, chat like it's a social event, and then they leave. I don't know. It's a dental office. You're there for your dental health. Can you chit chat as well? Of course. But also make sure you're getting information about your teeth and your gums. There's no perfect dental office, just like life. No one is perfect, but we are all here trying to do our best. So with that, you should feel comfortable at your dentist's office and feel that they are providing you with the best service that they possibly can. And hopefully this video helped give you some background knowledge on the standards of care and dentistry. And now you'll be able to trust your instincts in a more educated way so you can visit your dental office and feel safe and comfortable. Well, as comfortable as you can at a dental office, right? I will link my find a local dentist map on my website, ctarkgirl.com, as well as my affordable dental care content. If you can't afford a dental office at this time, there are many other different ways you could still get quality care for a low price. Truly hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. If it did, if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.